YouTube, what's going on? Your weekend gardener here. And today, what am I doing? I'm out in the garage and I have my sweet Miwa kumquat. Or is it Miwa sweet kumquat? Yes. Okay, so I've had this tree now going on, I want to say two, two and a half years or so. And still kind of puny, kind of small. This may be the dwarf variety, which actually grows to about eight to 10 feet. And that's possibly in ground. This tree is cold hardy up until about uh, 15 degrees Fahrenheit. 25 is okay. They want you to wrap the trunk so it'll be protected. This is a zone eight, possibly to 10 or 11 tree. I'm in zone seven, and I believe this is the second time these fruited. Gumball size, you can pop the whole thing in your mouth and eat it. If I'm not mistaken, there's a sweetness on the inside, so I went outside, or vice versa. Correct me if I'm wrong below. But here it is. This is actually the second time this tree has fruited. It is February the 6th. So... This tree usually fruits in the winter time here. I put it in my grow tent once it started getting cold. And since I put it in there, this is new growth right here. And a lot of people told me in the comments to get rid of the little thorny little things because I think it's a trifoliate. I'm not sure. But I kept a little I kept them because it's unique. And first time ever happening it's growing leaves so uh, it's a little unusual I just kept it I know it pulls away from this from the fruit the energy but eh, um, I get it I get it to each his own um okay so do I remember what these taste like last year I don't remember because I also have another tree that's similar to this, which is a Kalamundundan. And I know for a fact, I think I had some of those fruit and they were very sour. I don't remember these right here. But this one is almost done. This one still has a little bit of green in it. And that's some green tint on a few of them. I can't wait till they're ready so I could do a taste test. <laughs> and you know how the taste test go. So what I'm doing today is I'm just going to clean it up a little bit and I'm going to move it from this pot to this pot, water it in heavy, let it drain, and then put it back in my grow tent. I'm not sure if I need to spray it down with neem oil. It looks like a lot of, maybe that's dust. I can't tell what's on here, but that's what I'm going to do. Anytime you want to up pot, or move a tree or a plant make sure it's stable uh, I'm also gonna as you can see I'm just gonna weed too before I pull this up because the weed takes away water and nutrients now while the tree has been recovering because a lot of my citrus um, as you can see in the videos I had before this a lot of my citrus, because it didn't have a, it had lack of light, the leaves died back. This, not so much, but a lot of my citrus took it on the chin. So I'm trying to find a safe way to get this out of here. Not sure how deep the roots are because I want to say this is the second pot this has been in. Mm -hmm. I can kind of feel it a little bit. It started off in a, maybe a half a gallon pot when I got it. And then I moved it up to two. This right here I believe is a should be a three. After the three, if it gets a little bigger, I'm going to move it to five and I'm going to keep it in five gallon. I'm trying to be so careful. One, I don't want to knock the fruit off. And two, I don't want to rip 
the roots. And I don't want to make a mess. Now while this tree has been in my grow tent, I have put in some amendments such as uh, Fish Emotion 511. I put in um, Wood Ash, Pokashi, Chicken Poop. And it did wonders with a lot of my other citrus trees. I still have some citrus out here in the garage. Okay, let's, let's tilt and see where we are. that has helped a lot Off, often I thought about getting more citrus trees I'm not sure if I'm going to do that because unless I can find a way to really keep these trees safe during the winter I'm not going to get any more citrus trees I don't think there's any on the radar that I really want maybe maybe you know what maybe another brown select I do love that tree I love excellent fruit too okay now we get now we're getting there structures all throughout okay the root structure went through the entire pot oh I got a buddy in here working okay I'm cool with that as long as you don't come out in the house Make sure I do not cover the feeder roots with soil. Okay. I think I can see this tree smiling. This is a mixture of sand, peat moss, and some soil. Oh, that looks so pretty. All right. And now for the toppings, I have some hardwood, some cedar hardwood. I'm going to use this as a little mulch.
Only thing I don't like about this tree, this is the only branch that really did anything. This one kind of died back a little bit. I may try to encourage, if I can find the root line, I may try to encourage growth on a node. It looks like, mm, yeah, I got to really see how to do this because in time as this gets bigger, this needs to get thicker, but not too much longer because it's going to snap once the fruit, because all the fruit grows right here. But there it is right there. Move this out the way. Look at the thumbnail. Okay. Miwa sweet kumquat. Fruiting in February. I'm going to put it back in a grow tent after the watering. These should be available to eat possibly before the end of the month. As you can see, it's only one huge one here, then this one right here. And possibly because of all this right here, this is why these are so small. But I heard they're only supposed to be gumball size anyway. All right. There you go. Short video on my Miwa. Up potting, weeding, watering. Take care.